Message to New York's governor coming from the Sunshine State. Put your ads where the sun don't shine. I, three and a half years as governor, I have seen. All right, I apologize for that audio problem, but the, the governor is, as any state governor do, championing his state, uh, this time at the expense of Florida, saying it is a more attractive environment than the Sunshine State. Uh, Florida's top money guy, Jeff Atwater, who says enough is enough. Uh, the governor is wrong, just plain old wrong. We called uh, the New York governor's office. We haven't heard back, but we have this gentleman uh, with us and a statement from the New York governor coming shortly. Well, what do you make uh, uh, of this? I mean, you, you've seen what the New York governor is saying, Jeff, what New York is saying, that it's the draw, not you. What do you say? <laughs> you know, Neil, thanks for having me on. First off, people have been coming here for hundreds of years trying to sell us snake oil as a cure for yellow fever. So, so we've seen this before. <laughs> the, bottom, the bottom line is, you know, when you, when, in a place like Florida, our governor gets it, Rick Scott gets it. You keep the spending down, you keep the taxes down, you fight litigation, you, uh, you bring down your debt, you attract, you attract the innovators and the creators, and they bring the capital to Florida. They'll bring the capital to any place. There's no patent on these ideas. And so, you know, when I saw the television ads, and frankly, I had people across Florida asking me about what are these ads and who whose money is he spending on this well obviously he's spending taxpayer money on this side of New York and we don't mind him spending the money in Florida but even car dealers and drug manufacturers have to put that warning disclaimer at the end and tell you the rest of the story. And so we in Florida have enjoyed a low tax, low litigation, low spending environment, and it's, in, it's, it's created the, the, the largest private sector job growth in the entire country over the last year. We have a AAA credit rating. We have reserves that are positive on the, on the foreseeable future and the outlook. So if you're going to come to Florida and try to, and try to uh, deceive someone into something that's not so attractive when they finally get a hold of it, you ought to just be clear and say that. Neil, that's kind of what we're saying. All right. Now, uh, of course, those who aren't aware that I would have picked another state to, to, to fight with because, uh, you know, I know full well there's no income tax in Florida. There, you know, there, there's no estate tax in Florida. It's a, it's a big draw for not only retirees, but young people themselves. But, but I think what they were trying to, to say, Jeff, uh, that is New York in these ads, is that these enterprise zones and, and, and allowances for businesses that are made uh, to attract them, there's zero taxes. There's zero percent taxes for X number of years. Your argument is that's a head fake, right? <laughs> My argument is is it is. In Florida, when we did the exemption on sales tax for manufacturing equipment, we didn't see you had to be in this particular neighborhood. You had to be in this particular industry. When we raised the exemption so that tens of thousands of small business owners pay no corporate income taxes, we didn't say in this industry or in this neighborhood. We said, come in and believe and try and give it a shot and do it in Florida. So, so frankly, yeah, at the end of the ad, he ought to say, if we can't shoehorn you into a quarantined area, uh, you're not going to get the benefits. And by the way, if we do shoehorn you into this geography, on your way home, you're going to be paying the highest gas taxes in America. And when you get home, you're going to be paying the highest property taxes in America. Just be straight with people. In Florida, we don't believe that you should define down to a specific neighborhood or a specific industry. Well, a little what about bit of a break. an enticement wherever the neighborhood is at zero percent and that outdoes you? You say what? <laughs> that it, we say, if you're one, if you want to run a business for three to five years, this may be your solution. But if you want to build something and grow something and pass it on to the next generation, for heaven's sakes, don't do it in a place where this is going to expire on you, or don't do it All in right. a place where you can't you can't build the second location. Come to Florida and uh, and, and and turn loose your dreams, and, and we're not going to get in your way. All right, Jeff Atwater, thank you very very much. That statement from the governor's office says essentially what I had said or tried to rephrase that they are saying for CEO he must be pretty bad at math if he doesn't understand that the zero in startup zero tax <laughs> zones means no taxes for new businesses. But again, as Jeff pointed out, that there are some big differences there over the long Zero generation. personal income tax. But zero personal income tax, no small business you corporate serve taxes your state, all the time. You serve your state very well, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Come on Jeff down. Atwater. Come on down. I know it quite well. Meanwhile, remember the financial meltdown. Remember the 